there's still a lot of misunderstanding out there about how Social Security benefits are calculated. This is Ed Weir. I'm a retired district manager of the Social Security Administration. I help people throughout the country with all things, survivor benefits, retirement, early delayed retirement, disability, uh, Medicare, A, B, C, D, supplement plans, also helping people out with the uh, the Affordable Care Act health insurance. All right, how uh, some of the misconceptions, how are they calculated? What are the misconceptions? Um, I still hear on a regular basis, um, they, people think, well, it's the last five years or the last year, or the last three years is uh, what they use to determine how much your social security benefits is. Uh, that's not correct. Um, it is the high 35 years of earnings. So they take the high 35 years. It doesn't have to be continual. It could be, you know, a few years here, a few years there, you know, you worked, uh, at, you know, scoop an ice cream when you're 20 years old and you made $12,000 and you think, well, that's definitely not going to be the high because I just made $30,000 this year, uh, you know, semi-retired. Well, actually, it may be $12,000, you know, 30 years ago because they index it for inflation. That might actually be your high year. So the $30,000 you made this year or last year, they might not even calculate. It might not be part of your high 35 because that 12,000 today is worth, you know, $40,000 in today's dollars. So that's one of the reasons before you file for retirement or anything, survivor benefits, disability, make sure you check your earnings record. When a social security employee, if I've done this, you know, hundreds of thousands of times when I took retirement claims, when we had it in the office, you know, a person would sit down and we would print off their earnings record throughout their life and we would put it down on the desk and say, please take a look at this and see if this looks correct. And they say, oh, OK, well, 1982, you have zeros here. I worked in 1982. Oh, yeah. Oh, OK. Well, let's see here. Where'd you work? And you know, the, then we look for the uh, employee identification number. Oh, OK, here's. Oh, it looks like uh, um, you or your accountant or the IRS or Social Security, whoever mis, uh, mistyped your Social Security number. And, it's two one, but they put one two, and these earnings from 1982 have been sitting out there in limbo for decades and decades. And now we'll go ahead and put them in there. And there, how's that? Is that better? So I've done these corrections. They're called a, internally a two point eight. Um, yeah. So um, is the yeah. But then, all right, too uh, too deep in the weeds there. But uh, yeah. So uh, check your earnings record to make sure Social Security has the correct amount. Okay. That's number one. Okay. So the high 35 years, make sure your benefit, uh, your benefit, your earnings record is correct. Okay. Now that they have all your earnings record there, the 35 years, and they know which ones are the highest, then they take that and they come up with the calculations called Amy, the averaged indexed monthly earnings. So if you got 35 years, then they take the average, again, they index it for, it's not really uh, inflation, it's uh, another index, but uh, it's kind of like inflation based. Um, but uh, so they index that for essentially today's dollars, and then they take the monthly average. So throughout those 35 years, if your monthly average equal to, you know, five or $7,000 in today's dollars, then that's your Amy, the averaged indexed monthly earnings, how much you made throughout your life. And then they do this fun little calculation. I've got it here. So bin points and these bin points change every year. So the bin point 2023 is 1,115. So for the first $1,115, they take 90% of that. So $1,115 times 90%. And then from 115 to 6,721, they calculate it by 32%. And then anything over $6,721, they multiply that by 15%, okay? So for instance, if you make $7,000, your average index monthly earnings is $7,000. So 90% of the first part, it'd be about 1,003. 32% uh, of the second part, so the second BIM point, is 1793 and the final is about $42. Okay. So your PIA, primary insurance amount. So from the Amy, they use the bin points and the calculation, these percentages, 
and they come up with your primary insurance amount and your primary insurance amount in this case would be 2838. And again, you don't need to do all these calculations. You just go onto my SSA.gov and it'll tell you exactly what your benefit amount would be at your full retirement age. And then obviously um, it should also tell you what it would be if you retired early at 62 years old or um, basically, if you retire early at 62, you're looking at about a 30% reduction every month. It doesn't have to be the whole year. Every month you retire early, it's reduced a little bit. Every month you wait after your full retirement age, it increases up until 70 years old. And at 70 years old, it, it stops. So no more increases after 70, 70 years old, except for obviously COLA increases, cost of living um, allowances. So you can just go online. Uh, I've, you know, I've taken hundreds of thousands of retirement applications and I only had one person. He was a high school principal and he had done all these calculations manually. He indexed all his 35 years of earnings manually, long division, I guess. And uh, yeah, he had the whole sheet and it's funny, his, his wife sat next to him and uh, she looked at me and it's, it's kind of like, I've had to deal with this guy all my life. <laughs> they were a very loving couple, but uh, yeah, out of the hundreds of thousands of people I've ever talked to and taken retirement claims, uh, I've only had one person that actually calculated all this themselves. So um, go on to myssa.gov and it'll tell you exactly what your number is. Or if you want to kick around, um, social security employees, their job is to tell you all this stuff, the, the actual numbers. So if you call Social Security, set up an appointment. Yes, it takes forever to you know get in and actually have somebody pick up the phone. Then it'll take you a month or two to get you know um, someone to actually talk to on the phone or have a, a meeting in the office. So if you're considering filing for early retirement, or delayed retirement, whatever the case may be, go down there. You know, or have them call you, set up an appointment, and say, "Hey, I'm 63. What if I if I retire now? How much am I going to get? If I wait until my full retirement age, how much am I going to get? How much how much is my you know spouse going to get? All that. That's their job, and they'll tell you all the numbers, and then you can plan. You don't have to, you know, they're not going to obligate you. As I always say in these videos, these you know, there's not you know sales people that where it's like, uh, you know, the worst thing you can say to a salesperson. Let me think about it. Social Security. I'll, Employees love that. It's, you know, let me think about it. Okay, bye. <laughs> um, that means they don't have to adjudicate the case and they can go back and, you know, because they have another you know, 400 cases waiting on their desk that they need to address. So, yeah, they get your numbers, plan, and then contact them later. And you have what's called protective filing. So if you call them in, if you call them in June and you get all your numbers, and then you wait a month in July and August and August comes around and you say, okay, I'll go ahead and do it. You are essentially protected for a filing date. Um, so if you file in August and you say, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go and file, but you know what? Start my benefits back in June when I first, uh, you know, called you and stuff. So you, they can go back and start your benefits in June. And that way you've got, you know, a month or two months or three months or so to think about it and make sure you're making the right decision. All right. So that's essentially how uh, the benefits are calculated. Um, grab your pencils and your Excel spreadsheets and your uh, abacus and all that kind of good stuff and, and go for broke. But uh, if you got any questions on all things, uh, Social Security, uh, retirement, uh, survivor benefits, uh, Medicare, A, B, C, D, the Affordable Care Act, make sure you give me a call. All my help is free. Have a beautiful day.